in my life and I'm going to make it so that you go and you just, you ain't going to be here no more then because I'd rather get credit for taking you out, know that the karma is going to be living a short life, but have that hit to my ego and have that satisfaction of being known as the one who took you out than to have to know that I asked you to do something with your life that you didn't want to do and you just went and did what it is that you decided you wanted to do with your life anyway. And that's the underlying thing to uh, to Carlito's way. I mean, there's definitely deeper than that. Carlito had to find out that the person who it is, who he trusted, is the one who did him in, is the one who set him up for the okie doke the whole time. It was his attorney. And he had to let his attorney find out the hard way, right? You remember what happened? Did nobody feel bad for him? Recognize that when your purpose on this planet is different or you decide that you're going to fulfill your purpose, it's going to be people running alongside you waiting until you're waiting for your bitch at the train station and they're going to try and do you in and try and stop you from being able to board that train and go where it is that you need to go. And when there are people that are around you who are bennies, and not Carlitos, the Bennies are going to have a lot to fucking say because they wanted you for what they wanted you for. And you didn't give them what they wanted. And l don't let it be a situation where that person knows your purpose. When they sitting up here and they looking at you and you all full of light and shit. And they want the satisfaction of being able to dim your light, to drain your light from you, to feel like, I don't know why earlier I kept getting this, like I started channeling, I had a hard time, okay? And I'm just like, I kept thinking about masculine energy for some reason. And I kept thinking about how there's so many feminine energies who talk about sucking a soul, sucking a man's soul and stuff like that. And it's like from a sexually like dominating aspect, I understand, but it's imbalanced and it's, it is feeding the feminine's ego at the expense of the masculine, which is not a ba balanced and fruitful relationship. But if you are a masculine who has a financial biological clock, you need that life force. You need that energy. You need that sacral chakra, solar plexus energy. You need to not be busting freely. You need to actually not have somebody trying to take your soul from you. You need somebody who is going to protect you. And when there's a, when you don't have that knowledge, you just you, having fun. But could you imagine like finally getting that knowledge and then here comes somebody who you're married to in a relationship connected to, you're committed to, you want to be connected to. And this motherfucker trying to Benny Blanco your ass using sexual deviance, using, using their feminine wilds to drain you. And meanwhile, you need that to create not only actual babies, babies, but you need that life force to create, create like your financial deadlines that you have for yourself as a man are in direct alignment with where you're spending your sexual energy unless you're trying to get it from somebody else like unless you're a vamp but if you're not vamping anybody and you're being vamped it's gonna be real hard to create it, like it'll be easy to create a baby getting drained sexually but it'll be very challenging to create um on this planet in another capacity um but when you have somebody who's running alongside you and, and, or they're seeing your light and they just, they want some of it. Like they're just, oh, there's just something about you. You know, them kind of people where it's like, oh, there's just something about you. Your light. Oh, there's just some, where it's just like, they just want from you and want from you and want from you. And before you even realize that you're being depleted, you're like, your cup is damn near empty. Where it's just like, and then it's like almost next chapter type thing. Where it's like, 
Where it's like, you don't realize because your ego is being fed, you think that you're being desired sexually because you're so attractive, because you're so unique, because of your beauty, because of this, that, and the third. And it really is the satisfaction that a low vibrational spirit is getting from draining you of your life force, of your light, of the things that it is that does actually make you quite special, but where they're able to stop you in your tracks by just petting you a little bit. Like all the motherfucker did is told you you was pretty. Like all they did, all they did was just came and stroked you a little bit, just stroked your mane, you know, just petting a cat. Just, you know, all they did was this, just, you know, just a little, you know, you maybe you a dog. I don't know. Maybe they just got to rubbing your ears and then here you go. Distracted like a motherfucker. But there are a lot of people who it is who came on this planet and you were already at a higher vibration. Like you, you already came here ready because you done, you've been here before. Like there are people who it is who see that something special about you. They get to reading your shit. They like, don't let them have knowledge that they misuse because not everybody here that has knowledge is here using it for a good cause don't let them have knowledge and then they go and they find out they go and they start researching your ass and they find out who the fuck you are and they become jealous about your purpose they become jealous that your purpose is not their purpose but they didn't spend no time trying to figure out their purpose because they won't come out their ego long enough to even figure out what the fuck it is but they sitting up here and they're coveting what you have like, don't let that be the person running alongside you and you don't even fucking know what their problem is. Because a lot of times they'll sit up here, they'll find out who the hell you are spiritually and they'll come right about that thing and go and tell the whole world, go tell, have a whole bunch of flying monkeys around your ass telling you and everybody else that you a mean bitch or that you a stuck up nigga or that you don't take care of your kids or you a Debbie or you a this or you a that or you a that and they begin to pervert your image because they don't want to see you get to your purpose. They want to distract you with hate because they know that you want a love movement they want to distract you with bullshit and have you sitting up here worrying about what people think about you and what do they say about you and here come the flying monkeys ready to sit up here and saturate your every existence with that bullshit so that you don't remember who the fuck you are but meanwhile you sitting up here and you a whole ass person that let you just travel just west 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 of ghana and you take yourself like just travel west of ghana on a ship or something and you start feeling like some sort of sense of like deja vu or some shit where you're just like i've fucking been here before don't let your ass go diving off the end of that shit and go swimming down to where Atlantis used to be and you're like oh my fucking gosh I've been here before don't let you go traveling um east to Egypt and you're just like oh my gosh I feel like my body is like a body I've worn has been buried in this place somewhere don't let you go traveling further east and you're just like this feels kind of familiar too and it's because your ass has been in Lemuria like you are literally a leader you didn't come here needing to follow nobody because you left here leading everybody. And these motherfuckers be mad about that shit. But they can't say that. So they just say something else. Like that your ass is crazy. As if. They just say that you, um, um. they just start saying whatever following people need to hear to think that you're not the person that they need to follow when you are literally exactly the person that they need to follow because you will lead them towards a beautiful place that they don't even recognize as possible because every time that it is a somebody like you is on this planet ready to lead somebody here comes a Benny Blanco from the Bronx ready to take your ass out and keep you from leading people towards the love that it is that they desire for themselves and their descendants that they don't realize is possible. That kind of love and those kind of shifts that you know reside within all of us that, that requires a level of personal accountability that a wicked leader does not have. They lead these people to fucking hell. They like the Pied Piper over and over and over again. They sit up here and they lead a bunch of flying monkeys towards their own demise. And that's what I be talking about when I say that they lead people 
out of the very loving connections that it is that they're meant to have because the life that it is that we want for ourselves and for our children where we know that we can actually rest in peace and and get to that old old ripe age and know that we're not going to worry that this planet is not safe enough for our descendants is actually possible but it requires a level of sacrifice that is unlike anybody else can really understand the path to because every time we try to show somebody the fucking way here people go with this bullshit and distractions you can never as if as if who the fuck thought they was finna copy me who the fuck thought they was finna sit up here and make up a bunch of lies about me and then turn around and be able to re recreate what i'm doing recreate what any of us are doing while they missing a whole entire ass empathy gene sit down How you gonna lead somebody to love when you can't even be around it without trying to destroy it? Because it ain't not one person who has this light all up on them who hasn't been leading with love or hasn't just had themselves something special about them and everybody tried to turn it into something perverted. Oh, you weird. You this, you that. If you don't know how to respond to love, just say that. If you don't know what love looks like, just say that. And don't go and don't and and go in and making sure to tell somebody who don't speak love. Cause then they'll think the same shit. For every group I know there's a there's one or two people who are sitting up here and then sat up here and been slandered and lied on. And they can't say nothing because they know that most people don't understand what the fuck they talking about when they talk about leaving people the hell alone. When they talk about having genuine compassion and empathy for other people in a way that is life-changing because borderline everybody on this planet is malnourished in the nutrients of love, empathy, compassion, and understanding, grace and guidance and peace, joy and prosperity that comes from a place that doesn't cause that person to want to climb a ladder of any kind, social professional or otherwise get all the prosperity that they so-called think that they need that is really just money and things and then leap from the tallest fucking building knowing that they're going to look like a fucking ketchup stain because the love and the things the prosperity that it is that they truly desire is not monetary it's love and these motherfuckers sitting up here trying to move somebody out the fucking way the fuck you trying to keep people from being loved for pervert that what you trying to keep people from being loved for? Why are you trying to stop people from reaching from reaching people who could benefit from their loving energy? What is your end game here? What you trying to do? What, what were you trying to accomplish? By lying about sweethearts all over the fucking planet. Lying about all us sweethearts so you could do what exactly? What was you trying to do? the fuck were you trying to do that's a rhetorical question the universe ain't even checking for that fucking answer I'm searching for the other downloads. If I could put like a little loading bar right here, like just just picture it, like a little loading bar. About this is the bar. About we didn't cover about that. We got about this much left. Um, this much left. So, oh my god, I hate when this happens because I didn't got my shit off and now I don't remember what the rest was. Because I didn't take notes. Because I didn't want anybody to see my notes. Um, because it's all within me. But, and, but I don't want anybody deceiving you into thinking that in replicating anything that I create. Especially with my mind and my heart connect connection. I don't want them to bring you in 
under the false pretenses of love that's ego based and ego driven and then lead you to Pied Piper land. Because that's how it goes when somebody's not being authentic. I'm just going to have to be satisfied with, with what it is that I've shared with you guys thus far. Because I genuinely don't fucking remember the rest. But um, I hope this has been helpful to you.